If you're looking for the next big RSPS that everybody is going to be playing, then look no further and welcome to Xeros. The server is extremely promising, it's got some amazing developers behind it, thousands of real life cash giveaways including 5 brand new PS5s. Now a little information for some of you that might be confused, Zeros was actually set to launch this last Friday. However, and I guess this is a pretty good problem to have, there were too many people trying to get on and they crashed the servers. There were over 4,000 people trying to play on launch and the host just couldn't keep up. Now instead of letting everybody play for 4 days, build up their accounts and then reset everything, they simply took it down and moved the launch date to December 4th at 11am Pacific. Definitely a good choice on their part, you don't want everybody to build up their accounts and then have to reset it and do everything all over again. So in today's video, we are going to do a tour around the server, check out all the really huge contests, giveaways they got. I'll give you all the information you need about the server so we are all ready to play on the 4th. We're also going to be giving away two mystery boxes, two winners that win one mystery box each. I'll be drawing the winners and giving you the prizes on launch day. All you gotta do to enter is like the video, subscribe to my channel. Turn on post notifications and leave your Zeros in-game name down below. Alright, I really want to show you guys these contests. I mean, five PS5s. I know most people weren't even able to get a single one for themselves. And these guys are giving away five. So we'll check that out in a second. But I need to show you guys these teleports. So first of all, every single minigame you could possibly want. Besides fully working Raids 1 and Raids 2, Zolcano, Inferno, Winter Todd. They even have the Gauntlet, which you rarely see. And as you guys know, I love Last Man Standing. There's not enough servers with Last Man Standing. It's such an awesome minigame. And I see another one down here, Tournament. So there might be two PvP minigames on here, which makes me very happy. Tons of bosses as well. All the new ones you'd find on Old School RuneScape, like Serachinus. They got Hydra, Zolcano, Nightmare, everything. So this is the launch information thread, which I'll post in the description. One of the first things you might notice is the owner of the server. This is actually the owner of Ikov. Which definitely brings a lot of confidence that this project is going to be amazing. Now there's some really cool stuff on here. First of all, the fact that you can play it on mobile, on Android devices. Not Apple yet, sadly. I think it's a little bit harder to get it on there. They won't be selling best in slot items in the store, like Twisted Bow, Scythe of Vitter, so Iron Men can't just buy their accounts out, which is nice. And how about the prizes? Well, as you can see, there are a lot of them. I can't even fit it on one screen. These are the five people that will win the PS5s. It's basically the first person to get the achievement cape, and then the first person to max total level on different types of accounts. And as you scroll down, you will see a bunch more cash giveaways. $100, $100, $100 all through here, $200, more money, more money, more money. So much money being given away. I'm not gonna go through all of it. They're basically just a bunch of different challenges on some higher level content, like the first person to get a unique item from Theater of Blood, fastest time to kill Nightmare after one week, etc. I highly recommend you check out this thread, there is a lot of money to be won. Now as you can see, there's not a lot of people here because I'm actually on the closed beta, which is used to find and iron out all the bugs in the game. But if you join the Discord, they're actually going to have an open beta within the next couple days. So join the Discord, keep an eye out on the announcements channel, that's where they'll let you know when it's open. Don't forget about the giveaway channel as well, they have given away 1.8 bill OSRS GP. All you gotta do to enter this one is search for these little boxes right here and click that button. There you go, now I'm entered. But hey, we're on the server right now, how about we check out some of the content they've got to offer. Like I showed you guys before, they have pretty much every single piece of content you've ever seen on Old School RuneScape, plus more. Their drop table works perfectly as well, search up bosses, it'll show you everything they drop. I also really like their achievement system, it doesn't seem like they just copied and pasted the usual ones, looks like they came up with a lot of these themselves. They make a lot more sense, seem a lot more fun to actually complete. They've even got a bunch of working quests you can complete as well. Now what's cool about this beta is there are some really OP commands. First of all, I was able to spawn all this gear. Second of all, I can actually go into colon colon god mode, which means I cannot die, and I can give myself one hit KO mode. So I figured we just breeze through a theater of blood really quick, see how it all works. Like I said, Zerus was made by the owner of Ikov, so anything you have a question on if the mechanics are good or not, they're probably perfect. They spend a lot of time making sure everything works correctly. But anyways, we got the Maiden of Sugandinti here. Now obviously with the one hit KO, we're not going to be able to see all of their mechanics. Let's see, is it, is it truly, is it a one hit KO? See you later. Alright. By the way, also worth mentioning, they have really nice Runelight plugins as well. One I highly recommend you use is GPU. You basically turn this on and you can increase your draw distance. So with this off, look at this. I can't even see, see the guy. Turn it on, I put it up to 70 and look at that. It's like a real video game now. There's a ton of different useful plugins here as well, pretty much all the ones that you'd expect and need. 
All right. Oh, he's sending after the flies at me. All right, I set my damage to 200. That way we can still sort of see the effects of these guys without hitting them and killing them instantly. And obviously, if I was doing this for real, I would have different armor setups and such. But there you go. He gets tired after a while. You shoot him in the back until he's dead. There you go. Oh, God, this one should be fun. This is my least favorite room in Theater of Blood. Got the little spider holes. Got to kill all of these guys. Uh oh, I'm not one hit what hitting those ones. All right, we're good now. We've got a couple switches. Actually, not sure what happens if they break all of the supports. Do we just lose? They can't kill us because we're on god mode. Oh, no. They're about to kill it. Fuck. No. <laughs> god damn it. I, I just couldn't do it fast enough. But yeah, I mean, if you've played Icop Theater of Blood, you know that it's perfect. Just like OSRS, basically one-to-one. -one. Um, this is going to be the same thing. We'll get through the whole thing when we actually have a team with us. The trading post is working perfectly as well. Obviously, this is on the beta, so people can just spawn stuff. We're not going to find any offers. But you can look up specific player shops. You can look up items. Obviously, sell your own item and check out the history as well. And they actually have a Mimic casket over here too. Do we have the right thing? The Mimic has found you. Will you fight now? Yes. Ah, shit. Oh, we have our uh, 200 damage on still. He doesn't have a lot of health. It should be pretty easy anyways. What do we get? Ornate boots. Hey, I think that's actually pretty good. What is the drop rate on these? 1 out of 246. All right, not bad. Ooh, I like this. So this is the tournament system. I can't wait to check this one out. LMS is all the same stuff. It's always going to be an NH setup where you upgrade your gear as you go. But these are going to be different presets depending on the uh, the day. So right now it's max DH. You can also change up your inventory as well. So everything is organized exactly how you want it before you go in there. Say I don't want the claws either. I can discard those. Maybe get another angler fish. Oh yeah, look at that. If you don't want combo food, these technically heal a little bit less. You can just get all anglers. And it should limit how many cerebrus you, you can use. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. And well, that's going to be it for the video. I just wanted to do a quick tour of the server. Everything it has to offer. The launch information, like all the contests and the PS5s are given away. Remember, the official launch is December 4th at 11 a.m. Pacific. Make sure you enter my giveaway as well of two mystery boxes. I'll give them away right on launch. And keep up in the Discord for when the open beta is out if you want to try out any of the content before the server is up. But either way, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Please like it if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you want me to make more videos. And have a nice day.